National day for a Viter Police Department officer. Today, Sergeant Lee Breeding was honored with the department's life-saving award. And the recognition is because he rescued a one-month-old baby from suffocating. 12 News reporter Juan Rodriguez was at the hero ceremony. Not again, not again. 911, you have an emergency. Um, my baby brother is not breathing. A chilling phone call to the Viter Police Department. Okay, how old is your baby brother? He's a month old. A month old. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to get him on his back, okay? So when I arrived on the scene, I went directly inside the, the residence and uh, saw this baby laying on the kitchen table, and the baby was completely unresponsive. Baby Nile was suffocating. Cradled the baby's head and began the uh, CPR maneuvers. A heroic act by Sergeant Lee Brading. I think I just handed him to him. I was just like, help me. You know, I don't even remember. I just know he was there. And and for that life-saving deed, Sergeant Braithing is now being recognized. He is being given the Vider Police Department Life-Saving Award. Sergeant Braithing didn't tell anybody about this incident. I didn't find out about it until I saw a Facebook post. So it shows you what a humble person he is and as far as being a community leader. He's a hero who doesn't wear a cape, but proudly sports a police officer badge. I hope he grows up to be uh, uh, healthy and uh, uh, have a happy life. Giving baby Nile an opportunity to recover his lost breath. Just be grateful for his life and for the people that helped save him. And, you know, have respect for law enforcement. Maybe he'll be a cop someday, you know. Inviter Juan Rodriguez, 12 News. Sergeant Bradding says he isn't the only one who should be honored. He credits the dispatchers for their crucial role in saving baby Nile. So sweet. So, so sweet. Teamwork. They did it. And that little baby, once he grows up, he'll be told the story and he'll always be thankful. To and that and he's so right about um, the dispatchers and everyone who works on the team. You never realize how many behind the scenes folks actually help uh, when, you, when you're looking at these life and death situations, right? Right. They have a lot of people behind the scenes. You really don't see their faces. But again, it takes a lot of teamwork, and we're thankful for all that they do every day, saving the community. Absolutely, that's what they're out there doing. So thank you to all the first responders out there, and don't go anywhere. Patrick is back.